Well, hello, this is Rochelle and welcome to my channel. Today I am using the Fab Scraps C128 Life Stories collection. Uh, I've really loved this collection. It's just so incredibly pretty and vintage and soft and feminine and just really beautiful. And so those are hardy dyes truly South African hardy dogs <laughs> so um, thanks for uh, enduring while they do their thing I'm quickly fussy cutting yes I'm fussy cutting <laughs> the one element with this kind of like a hanging seat or a hanging chair um, with these beautiful soft florals uh, and I am not fussy cutting so that I cut all of the little pieces off as well or into place as well I'm going to be trying to put them in there with some paint um, we'll see how that goes but uh, nonetheless <laughs> just cutting and the rope is very delicate so obviously requires some fine fussy cutting on there and uh, I am going to be putting some gel medium through the stencil that comes with this collection it's the scripted stencil. Um, first, just checking out where the spot will be. I'm going to be tracing or looking at those little flowers, um, putting them in the background, but first working on kind of a rustic scripted in the, you know, very subtle, quiet background uh, for this. So I'm taking a gel medium. This gel medium is a bit thick and I think in hindsight, I would do a thinner one um, if I had to do it again. But there you go, it's on there, it's quite thick, I'm letting it dry. But my impatience <laughs> is grabbing the heat tool. And uh, once that is dried with the heat tool, um, I did have it bubble in some places. Uh, and that adds to the texture and in the end it adds to the quiet uh, background noise. Can I put it like that? So that's the gel medium through the stencil that comes with this beautiful collection. Like I said, next up I'm taking my fabric style uh, pan colors, watercolor um, pans, and I'm just uh, mixing a kind of a olive green um, with some yellow and just uh, putting it in there, uh, kind of spaced or or I checked out where it should be to be kind of tucked behind like the actual paper was, just with a different sort of background. And just doing these little branches with these little buds, um, but not doing too much of the buds because I have an idea. So <laughs> I'll do that. Uh, I'm using a De La Rowney, uh, fine watercolor brush uh, with these watercolor pans. It just it gives a beautiful effect. I love the fine detail on this De La Rowney brush. Um, when I work with watercolors specifically, obviously I would not use these with my gelatos or even with you know anything else, uh, acrylics, etc., etc. It's just not um, the right medium to use with a precision brush like this. So there's that. Then just adding the darker kind of uh, bottom part of the bud, so the leafy part of the bud um, at the end of these little branches or twigs they would be in this case and then next up just adding some background color for this i'm using a uh, fabric style soft grip brush just to add some kind of background uh, or shadow at the bottom of this layout and then some splatters of course <laughs> using that same brush and then i'm using the flat brush that comes with this fabric style uh, soft brush or soft grip brushes and I'm just going to mix ever so slightly the littlest of uh, kind of pink color there to to put in the in the top background. Um, but first, some more splatters. Just checking that they are in fact in the right place first, uh, so that you can still see some of them. And there's that hint of peach kind of pink color at the top there. Just really going over the gel medium it does resist a little bit and it brings out the texture just a little bit and i think it just makes this uh, background kind of perfect for me <laughs> i do go over the words ever so slightly but um with it being watercolor you obviously don't see 
uh, or it's not opaque, you can still read all of the words. And the word that I'm working in today with this beautiful, peaceful setting, a book in a hanging chair with gorgeous flowers and soft tones, there's the idea I had, the diamond uh, stickles, just adding those little sparkly, florally um, bits to the buds of these branches or twigs and then letting that dry. I did smudge it at one point, but um, nonetheless, letting it dry. Working in Deuteronomy 6, verse 5 to 9, and it says the following. It says, Listen, Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. These words that I'm giving you today are to be in your heart. Repeat them to your children. Talk about them when you sit in your house and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Bind them as a sign on your hand and let them be a symbol on your forehead. Write them on the doorposts of your house and on your city gates. So this really was uh, kind of the picture for me, right, you know, reading the word in this little uh, nested hanging chair um, outside surrounded by the beauty of God reminding myself to continuously be in the word to continuously write this word of the Lord in my heart uh, to dwell on it to meditate on it when I get up when I sit down wherever I am that the word of the Lord kind of guide me and show me the way to go I did cut a tab with my tab punch from the offcuts of what I used here. And then I am using my Faber-Castell S-Nib pen to just uh, write in this little book that says, so that it says, the greatest command, love the Lord your God. And I'm writing that in kind of like a very, very scribbly font, um, just so that it looks like it's a part of the writing on this page. Taking my uh, olive cocktail creative retreat ink to just stamp the date at the bottom and then taking my silver gel pen. This is the Sakura Jelly Roll pen um, and I'm writing the words of this verse in random places in between the background. The reason why I chose the silver is because I wanted it to really blend into the background. I don't want it to be the focus point. I want it to be a part of the background and very soft and gentle and not visible unless you actually go look for it. Um, so it came out exactly the way I was hoping it would. <laughs> and that just always makes me happy. So with beautiful products like these stencils and the patent paper that are... 12 by 12 pattern paper that you can use for so many different things. I wanted to show you that you can do a beautiful Bible journaling entry using your Fab Scraps collections. And they are just gorgeous this month. I can't wait to use even more of them in various other projects. I hope that you stay tuned. Keep watching. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I really hope to see you again soon. Um, and that's it from me. Bye-bye.